All right, so let's set up a Stripe integration with your phone spot spot. So I'm going to um, head on over to the business section of Stripe. I'm logged into my account here. And then under business settings here on the left-hand side, there's an option for checkout. Uh, you're going to select checkout, and then you're going to open up to this page here. It's not going to look exactly like this if you haven't enabled checkout yet. So let me show you how this is done. And how it's going to look like whenever you need to go and enable, right? Click enable. They have documentation you can click through it if you need to, but click enable, and then um, you need to drop in your domain here. So let's go grab the domain real quick. Actually, I don't think it needs in the HTTPS yet. Perfect. It uh, removed the HTTPS for me. Awesome. Okay, and then click save here. All right, and then now I need to go into products. So hopefully you've already set up your products. Uh, I'm just gonna click into the top one up here. That's good enough for me. Um, and then under pricing plans, you're gonna select use with checkout. And then within use with checkout, you uh, you can change the success URL and the cancel URL. Um, I'm gonna go, uh, like if you wanna do actually put these success and cancel URLs on a phone sites URL. Uh, so uh, whatever subdomain and then phone sites.com or um, you can use your own custom domain or whatever. You'll obviously need to set up some pages. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and select done. And I'm going to drop this code over into my funnel under the settings page here under custom code. Drop that in and save this. I'm not going to worry about uh, editing my button. I'm sure it's going to look like crap whenever I uh, <laughs> when I post it, and it's just because of um, like the default button for uh, this embed here, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. And I already uh, stripped out um, uh, like the the form on the page, and I just left the headline here. Let's just move this button over. I don't like how it's left aligned because of the the default of the embed here. Uh, right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, our button should be in the middle. And again, I'm not going to worry about how it looks. I don't care. Now, when I click through this, it should take me to the Stripe form for paying $2,500 bucks for my uh, social media marketing, right? So if I were to go ahead and process through it, which I'm not because this is live, and if I were to process a test on uh, a live form, uh, actually it goes against Stripe's uh, terms of service, apparently. So you're supposed to be testing in there, um, uh, like not in their live environment, but shh, I've already done this before where I've tested uh, a dollar where I processed it through and it, it was fine. It can get caught. Okay, hopefully that helps. Uh, so like if after you were to um, submit your form, of course, then this would redirect to that. Uh, where was it at, where was it at, where was it at? It would redirect to whatever URL that you have listed here for your success or cancel URL. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps.